So, yet another video with me, Jonas Andersson, and today we're going to tie a uh, pattern that was requested. Uh, so, a uh, ball moral. Uh, I have one since earlier, and my, my dog is sneezing. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, I tied this one with the uh, Spaycock. Um, However, I'm gonna follow uh, the pattern of kills and I do it with here on this time. Uh, so um, let's begin the video. Okay, let's tie this fly then. Ball moral. So I start with tinsel. Um, in this case, I have the extra small oval silver tinsel from Levis. I need to make sure that we keep the focus. There we are. For a short time. But now, maybe the light is bad. So, yeah, start touching that one. Tie it in the end there. Um, the hook I'm using is a handmade hook by John Saxton. So, just attaching the tins and going backwards again just to make sure it's tight. So I'm tying that one in. Tying it into the front. Then going back with the thread again. Focus drives me crazy. Tail. Not too low. And the next step in this pattern is to add a few tippet fibers. Here. So I'm just going to 
read it. So now the section I want to have from each side. together and I see one side is much larger so I'm gonna remove a few fibers So here we have a few tippets. So I'm going to place it on top of the hook and tie it down. There you are, as you can see. So, once again, cutting the leftovers. A bit. So, going backwards again, now it's time for the butt butt, which is an ostrich hair. side and tie in is the butt. So, tinsel time. So we're gonna have two, we're gonna have a flat and a twist. Let's 
let me start tying in the flat one. Securing it. There they are. A bit of thread. And then we have the oval inside. Or the twister arm, sorry. Then I go back, now it's time for the wool, seal fur actually, uh, green in the back, or half, half I would say. Second color gonna be uh, blue. There we are. Let me take a Here we have blue silver. But before that, I almost forgot we need to put in the uh, the grey hero feather. Colored black, of course. That was a close one. I almost forgot it. So it's secured. Now we can start to add the blue silver.
was saying I'm stupid enough to start this video with an autofocus setting so I need to <laughs> pay attention to the focus because it decides what to focus on so next time I'm gonna have a, a point where we're focusing so we just continue add the blue silver nice contrast I took a brighter green this time I like it And the last part of the body here, adding silver, and that's just doing and uh, adding or winding the tin cells. Tinsel first. Then for the twist, it's going to follow um, the flat tinsel. So I just got the leftovers here. There we go. Removing the silver. Now we have it out of focus again. Sorry for that. turns closely as possible to the floppy cell.
collecting the leftovers and then it's here on time so I just strike them backwards really like here on that much. I prefer to use like a cock feather or something. Personally I, I think that looks much nicer. But that's just me. So, there we are done. So I need to tie that one in. Cut the leftovers. Just securing the tying of the hair on end here. So there we are. Your strands. And I'm gonna use a different front tackle. It should be, uh, I think, a division. But I'm gonna use this one instead. I'm gonna have more contrast. So, just tying in the front here. It's going to be a tight fit. Then, just brushing it out. I like the look. Looking good. And we need to add uh, some brown feathers. Cinnamon turkey, but in this case it's not turkey, it's something else. Uh, actually it's a wiltering. I didn't 
have time to color in the turkey and out of cinnamon turkey as well. There's a few ways you can do when you're setting the D-wing. So either you put it on top of each other. Let's see if I can get the good one. And there we are. See if I can show you what I mean. So you could place them like this and just tie it in on top of each other. But I'm gonna try to tie in one side at the time to have them uh, meet. Sorry for the background noise, it's my neighbor's kids, they are, uh, I don't know, ADHD or something. It's not compacting right. Now it is. So you notice this one is much, much larger. Or longer. So I'm just pulling it in a bit. Focus come on. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. It's fishable. Do you see the wings? So as I mentioned, I put them next to each other, pointing that on instead of overlapping. So now I just need to add some varnish on the head and cut the leftovers of the feather. And um, yeah, that's it. No, I almost forgot again. My god, I'm crazy. We got one more step. The GC pointing back uh, downwards. That was a close one. So I'm just cleaning up. And make sure I can tie it in properly. And uh, let me wax the thread once more.
one side of the Yeezy is tied in. So time for the other side. Just need to cut off the, the beginning of the feather. And same there, pointing downwards. Just the, so they are even. Now it looks good. So now we're gonna varnish the head and cut all the leftovers and then shoot a nice picture for the this video and then and then it's done. So that's how you tie this lovely uh, ball moral. Uh, the fly, um, at least how, how I do it. Um, there's a, yeah, I think it's four or five different versions uh, of, of uh, this uh, fly. And uh, I did set the wing quite high because then, you know, yeah, it fish better in my opinion. Because if it's really, really low, there is, you know, not much going on there. But my opinion as well. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, so thanks a lot for watching, I'm gonna add an icon for subscri uh, subscribing and also a link to other of my videos, so thanks a lot and see you in the next video and stay safe out there, this virus, is, yeah, it's, it's not fun at all, so see you, take care, bye.